How's it going, everybody? Sean Allen here. Welcome to another episode of Meal Time at Disneyland. It's a breakfast edition. We're in Disney California Adventure. We're going to try out a place I've never really tried out here before. It's called the Corn Dog Castle. This is a place that's been here for quite a while. As I mentioned, this is a breakfast edition of Meal Time at Disneyland. So we're going to be trying out something over here at the Corn Dog Castle that's going to be very interesting. That is the breakfast sausage and egg corn dog. What is it exactly? Well, let's find out. Looks like this is one of those fig trees. A special type of roots right over here. Look at that. Morton Bay fig is what I think it's called. Pretty cool. I think this is a Morton Bay fig tree. The reason I say this is because of the leaves and also the way the how the roots look in the ground there. There's a massive one over at Los Angeles Valley College. I believe that's what this is. Horton Bay Fig. So what's interesting is that even though it's a breakfast item, they don't have any orange juice here. That's rather interesting. They do have lemonade and Powerade and a Fanta orange, but that's a soda. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. So this is the breakfast egg and sausage corn dog. Now it is a little smaller than a normal corn dog. It's about half the size of it, but it's got so the sausage. There's obviously the the hot dog portion of this thing, and the eggs are inside. This is drizzled in a raspberry jam and powdered sugar, and you do get a side order of either chips or mandarin. Well, this is a breakfast item, so I went with the cuties mandarin orange. And these, by the way, if you get them just right, are really good and really really sweet. Now, as I mentioned, they don't have any orange juice, so I went with a Fanta orange. I mean, <laughs> still orange, but doesn't have any juice in it, but yeah. Looks interesting. Can't wait to try this out. Okay. That's definitely raspberry jam. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. I'm not sitting at a table. I'm actually up against a, a tree. <laughs> so here it is, the corn dog. Should be interesting, here we go. First bite. That's definitely interesting because the it's mostly sausage on the inside, but I'm guessing the egg is also mixed in there as well. I'm not sure exactly, but it tastes pretty good. So the attraction I'm next to over here is the Goofy's Sky School right up here. That's the roller coaster. And this is their line right over here. I've never been on this ride before. I heard some scary stories about this particular attraction but it's one of those rides that zigzags around and dips you can hear them screaming around up there this is like another part of their queue right here and i guess this is like an emergency exit that's the grand californian hotel right there and i think this almost looks like an olive tree but i don't think so but it looks like one i'm not sure what tree this is oops i bumped the camera but yeah there's definitely a lot of Good shady over here. I bit into the stick just a minute ago. I didn't get it on film, but um, ouch, <laughs> that hurt. I didn't realize how long the thing is. Good grief. Yeah. <laughs> gotta be really careful when you're eating a corn dog. It's funny, that's the thing I don't really enjoy about corn dogs because you gotta be really careful without that stick. Oh. I did it again, it was just a nibble. <laughs> so I've had corn dogs before, and to be quite honest with you, I'm not usually a fan of corn dogs. I mean, I've had some from Universal. It's been a hit or miss. The last couple of times I had a corn dog at Universal, I got a little sick. And I haven't really had many corn dogs since. Of course, that was a few years ago. Breakfast corn dog, though, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I know for a corn dog this small, you would think it'd be a little bit bigger. Well. Considering that it's a breakfast portion, I'd say it's just the right size. But yeah, it's pretty good. I will say, however, that with the jelly on here, just be a little careful. It does make your hands just a little greasy. Even though the corn dog is a tad bit greasy itself, just be careful. 
it, if you're holding like a camera or something, just make sure you don't touch the lens. Oh! There are the eggs. They're at the very bottom. <laughs> and look at this particular tree over here. Looks like that's a liquid amber tree. My folks have one at home. Actually, a couple. So I actually recognize that tree. That's pretty cool. So that was very interesting. So the eggs are at the very bottom of the corn dog. It's like most of it is just the breading and the dog itself, but all the eggs are right there. It's the very bottom. <laughs> that is very interesting. Let's see if I can get some of this egg without getting into trouble with the stick. All right. Not bad. I will say, not spicy at all. I heard one of the corn dogs was spicy, and I thought they were ordering the breakfast one. I was like, uh oh. But uh, no, it's actually quite tasty. Not really spicy whatsoever. I like the, the raspberry along with the eggs too. It's actually pretty good. Completely finished off the breakfast corn dog. Now I'm going to work my way into the mandarin orange. The cutie mandarin orange. You can get these at your local grocery store. We actually have a mandarin orange out in the garden. It's one of the trees, I believe it's one of the trees we planted a couple years back. Me and my dad. So yeah, it's really easy. You can rip off the skin like this. A lot easier than an orange, to be honest with you. Before you eat it, double check to make sure there are any seeds. I know they're supposed to be seedless, but every once in a while you'll get a mandarin orange that has seeds. And I don't think this one has seeds, so I think we're good. I think we're in the clear. And that's sweet. There's a couple sections, though, that taste a little dry, though. Oh. Oh, I thought I got a seed in this one. So I like to just pull it up to the sunlight there. At first I thought I saw a seed, but no, this is clean. Yeah, usually these have much more juice, but this one's this one's just a little dry. Hmm. That's a better one. Well, that's going to conclude this episode of Meal Time at Disneyland. I hope you enjoyed the video. That sausage and egg breakfast corn dog was actually not bad. That raspberry jelly that they put on there was pretty good too. Didn't really taste that much of the powdered sugar, but you know it's sugar, so it dissolves very quickly. So, <laughs> Mandarin orange though, that was a mess for me. Wow, normally the mandarin oranges are a lot better than that, but I guess that was just a bad one or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it was really good. By the way, I did hear from a cast member that you can get orange juice, not from there, but just down the road by the, one of the little shops by the Ariel's Undersea Adventures. So they do have orange juice, but not at that location, which is really interesting because you would think with a breakfast item like that, they would have orange juice, but they don't. They have orange juice soda, <laughs> but not the actual orange juice, but oh well. Before I forget, there's not a whole lot of seating over there by the restaurant. There's a couple of tables here and there, but you're mostly gonna be sitting around the trees. So yeah, just thought I'd give a little heads up because when I went to the little patio area, there weren't that many seats. So be forewarned because it is a little crowded in that area. Anyways, that's about it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time here on the Disneyland Video Series. Thank you so much for watching. I personally want to thank those of you who have been supporting my channel over the last 10 years. I hope to continue to bring more Disneyland magic and fun to your home. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and click the bell icon to be notified of when a new video will be going live. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Disneyland fun. To stay connected, follow me on Instagram at SeanAllenFilms and follow my other channels, the Educational Series, the Vlog Series, and the Travel Town Series. As always, thanks for watching.